Subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon and check out our Android machine learning courses at Udemy. Links are given in the description. Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will see how to add navigation drawer inside an existing Android Studio app. Suppose that you have an Android application with 10 activities and now you want to add navigation drawer in each of these activities. So let's do it. So I created a simple Android Studio project in which I created two empty activities, main activity and the second activity. So activity main contains this button. Upon clicking on this launch button, activity second will be launched. So that is our second activity. And here you can see that its background color is changed. The background color of main activity is blue. And the background color of this second activity is different from main activity. Now you can see that the code inside main activity. Here we have a button. And upon clicking on it, second activity will be launched. So I run my application inside an emulator. So when I run on it, you can see that upon clicking on this launch button, our second activity will be opened. Now we need to add the navigation drawer inside both of these activities. So the first step is creating a new activity which contain a navigational drawer. So just right click on the folder which contain the, your main activity. And now you need to create a new activity which contain navigation drawer. So navigation drawer activity. So I'm going to name it drawer activity. And now click finish and this activity will be added inside your project and it will contain a navigation drawer so just click add then add the dependencies and in a moment the project will be built and the activity will be added so gradle is built successfully so now let's look at the layout of this activity drawer now i'm gonna open this activity drawer.xml and you will see that it will contain a navigation drawer so you can see that it contain a navigation drawer now we want to add this navigation drawer inside our activity main and the second activity. So just create a new layout file name nav activity main. So here I'm going to click new and layout resource file and I'm going to name it nav activity main. And I'm creating this file for our activity main. And in order to add the drawer inside second activity, we will create another layout file. So this is our nav activity main. So now open this drawer activity and copy all the code which is present inside this XML file. So copy it and paste it inside nav activity main. So I'm going to open nav activity main and I'm going to remove all the code that is already present here and I'm going to paste the code that I copied. And here you need to make slight changes. So inside this layout tag and inside this layout attribute, you need to change this layout to activity main and now change it to activity main so you can see that this code contains a drawer layout which is for our navigational drawer then it will gonna contain the layout which will be shown along with the navigation drawer then it will contain a navigation view which will contain the item so here we are gonna look at our nav activity main and you will see that it will contain the layout of our activity main which color is blue so here you can see that it also contain a drawer so now we need to make slight change in activity main code and, and here you need to change this activity main to nav activity main so now our main activity will contain a navigation drawer so now let's run our application and see so now our application is opened again so when i scroll from left to right you will see that now our activity main contain a navigation drawer but this drawer is under this toolbar so we will fix it in a moment so here you can see that it contain different items which are already added. Now close the emulator and we will solve the problem that the drawer is covered by toolbar. So open your nav activity main and here you need to set the top margin for your navigation drawer. So I'm going to set the top margin. So margin is equal to and I'm going to set the top margin to 50 dp. And now let's run our application again to test it. And I'm going to open the emulator again. So now our application is installed again. And now let's open the drawer again. So I'm going to open the drawer. And now you can see that it's below this toolbar. Now we need to add this navigation drawer inside our second activity. So the process is simple. So you just need to create a new layout file. So I'm going to create a new layout file. Nav second activity. Just click OK and this layout file will be created. Now you need to copy the code of this activity drawer. So copy all the code again and paste it inside nav second activity. So I'm going to paste it. And here you need to change it to second activity. And again open your second activity Java file. 
and here change it to nav second activity so this nav second activity is not showing which is the error of my android studio so when we run our application you will see that our application will run successfully so i'm going to run my application inside the emulator and you will see that our application will be installed and the gradle will be built successfully and now i'm going to open the drawer for this main activity so now close it and now let's click on this launch button so the second activity will be opened and I'm gonna show the drawer for it as well so similarly you can add the margin for this second activity drawer as well but now we need to add the code for this drawer item so I move back to my main activity and here you will see that drawer contain different types of item so we want to do something upon clicking on these items so how to write the code so just open your main activity so now we need to write the code for navigation drawer so we want that when the items on navigation drawer will be clicked there is some action or work we want to do so open your main activity and we're going to add the code for main activity drawer so i'm going to paste these lines here so you can just manually type it so type this navigation view here which is the view which contain the navigation items or the menu item similarly we will add the listener for this navigation view so navigation view that said navigation item selected listener and here you can see that we will get the item id using item dot get item id and if this item id is equal to r dot id dot nav home which is the home option which is available on navigation drawer then we will show the toast home after that we will get the drawer layout and we will close the drawer so now when we run our application you will better understand what this code is doing so open your application again inside the emulator and the application will be installed in a moment so the application is installed again so i'm going to open the navigation drawer for this main activity and here when i click on this home button you will see that home toast will be shown so where are these items are present these items are present inside your menu folder so here activity drawer drawer will contain these items of navigation drawer so here we have three items which is home gallery and slideshow so when you open this file you can see that it contain home gallery and slideshow and here the id for home is nav home so here inside my main activity i use this nav home id to get the id of this home option then i show the toast similarly you can add the code for your second activity and you will do it by yourself so i'm going to repeat the process so the first step is creating a new activity which will contain a navigation drawer then you need to create a new layout file for the activity in which you want to add the navigation drawer so copy the code of this drawer activity inside the layout file you created and just change the layout file name here so i created this nav activity main and i change the code here uh, so i change the activity here to activity main then we change the code here inside main activity so we set there nav activity main in instead of activity main then we wrote the code for navigation drawer so when the item on navigation drawer are clicked you can do some work or any other work you want to do so that's the whole process so hopefully you will get the idea so here is one more thing here you can see that our navigation drawer is showing just below this toolbar so if you want to show it above the toolbar i'm gonna add another lecture and i'm gonna give the link in the description for building smart android applications using machine learning check out our courses at udemy links are given in the description